Hey everybody, Garnet Lee here with Raw Fury, where I work with Toby Guard on Dream Cycle. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at just some of the basics of getting around in Dream Cycle and what you're doing on your adventures. Uh, one of the key pieces of feedback I've already seen many times, and yeah, actually, I'm one of those people that's reading those feedbacks from in the game. Is hey, what do I do in the game? So uh, it's a, it's basically a hub and spoke sort of model or a hub and map model. The Cavern of Flames, obviously, is the hub you keep coming back to, where you can kind of collect yourself play with your perks, uh, assign spells, and that sort of thing. And then when you come over here to the deep gate, which leads to all of the adventures in this map, you'll be able to choose uh, from the maps. And of course, it uses an, a sort of expanding system. So you know, here I've opened a few maps, but you can only go one or two out from ones you've opened without paying a little extra gold. Um, eventually, you'll get a tool that'll allow you to go further out, but that's later on. And I'll let you guys get to that and enjoy it on yourself. Right now, we're going to talk just about what are the basic deals with these maps. So any given map, you're going to see right here on the screen that it has uh, a name uh, for what you're supposed to do. Like in this case, defeat all the enemies. Uh, and another one is going to be fine to defeat the Eidolon. And then there is the dreaded defeat three Eidolons map, which by the way, has been fixed in the new patch that's out today, 1.1.6. 1 uh, and also there's a lost and found chest in the main cavern where you can retrieve the stuff you should have gotten the first time around. Sorry for that. Uh, so anyway, uh, in each of these missions, when you hop in, so let's go right here. So this one is a find and defeat the Eidolon mission. So the idea is you go in uh, to the mission and you defeat enough enemies uh, and open enough chests to draw out enough Ikor, which is the blood of the dead god, to draw the Eidolon out and then you defeat them. Uh, without uh, getting too deep into the story, which we are still obviously in the process of giving to you, so we don't want to spoil too much of the story, of the, story. the idea here is that uh, what Randolph did to trap Morgan here in the uh, Dreamlands was so heinous that uh, he wound up spilling the blood of the dead gods and it spilled out into the Dreamlands and infected everything, turning it all cursed. And so you know, now part of your need to restore the flame to the Cavern of Light is to go and remove that curse and draw the dead, go blood, the dead gods' blood back out of all of the... Uh, out of all of the out of the enemies and features of the game, uh, like, you know, the chests and stuff. So uh, here, when you drop into this level, we use a red highlight system to show you the objects of interest for that level. So in this case, because it's a Eidolon hunt, you have to draw him out by getting Ikor. And the fastest way to get Ikor in these levels is to go to the anomalies. So here you can see this red one, and it just happens one spawned right in front of me, which is very convenient. There's another one. You can see that red dot way back there in the far in the far background. So these are going to be uh, these are going to be anomalies, and by triggering them, you'll get the maximum amount of of uh, Icor, and that will cause that me that meter up there at the top of the screen to fill up. And once it's once it's one third filled up, as a matter of fact, just pulling this will almost completely do it. Uh, then then the Eidolon will manifest. And if you continue to get more Icor, you'll eventually weaken the Eidolon. And as you get later on into the, into the game, like further out in levels, you really want to use that to your advantage because the Eidolons get really tough. So we'll come here and we'll find the spot to uh, trigger this. Uh, it seems like Rumble's not working on my controller, but that's fine. We, we can find the spot here to trigger this guy. He's in here someplace. Uh, where is it? See, it's, it's the same. That's part of part of what we're working on this in, in tuning these is trying to make these uh, is making these anomalies more interactive and something for you to like really have to uh, have an exploration moment with. So let's see, is he gonna pull? You can start to see. Usually, you can start to see them coming together when you get when you get to the right spot to pull on them. Oh, there you go. See how it's coming together. There you go. So that's how you that's how you trigger the uh, uh, the anomalies, and all the anomalies have that sort of feature to them, where where there's a sweet spot that you're getting to, but there's also sort of a way that you get into them. It's one of the little puzzles in the game. So you see now uh, that that anomaly has has solved. I'll pull in a bunch of Icor, and it filled my meter up about about a third of the way or so. So now I can go back to scanning. I see that there's another red dot way over there. We'll go over and get that because it's gonna be the fastest way to get this filled up. The yellow spots are all chests. So because in here in this level, I'm also going to be trying to like accumulate stuff for myself. I'd like to get you know uh, a more better, more better. I would like to get additional equipment, 
and more uh, toys. To Whoa, make sure I'm not falling off a cliff there. Oh, look, it's, uh, here's a little shop. Sometimes you also have the shop in your levels. Um, I have Raven equipped right here, but I want to switch to... Oh, whoops. Oopsie! Uh, so there's Raven spell, which I really... It's nice, but it burns stuff up. I like to use the teleport, the blink a lot more. Uh, another suggestion you guys have given us is to have a quick scan. You know, I do it a lot like that, but I think a quick scan would be awesome. I think we'll get that in, in a future update. I don't know how far it'll be, but it's definitely a good idea. And also kind of being reckless here. I hopefully won't run into any guys. I'm trying to make sure and just like blast through here as quick as possible. See if we can get over to this guy and give you the quick... Oh, there's going to be a guy around here someplace. There typically are enemies in these sort of areas. They have a... There's a sort of rip method to the madness of how they spawn. See, oh, we're getting close. There it is. All right, so here's the next one. And we come over here and do the same thing. Get close to it to see where we get the pieces to start to come together. Boom. That triggers that. And now it's, of course, going to spawn the Eidolon. And once the Eidolon spawns, that will become the key element of the level. So he will then be highlighted with the red light. So just do a quick shot to show you that after we get this little offering of story. So now we're going to get the I-Core that comes from getting that second anomaly. The bar fills. You see it switched to manifested. It says the Eidolon has manifested. And now when we go to scan, oh, there he is. He's going to be up there. So if we want to go fight him, that's where he's at. And let's see, we can just sort of go over here just to sort of confirm that for you guys. Everyone loves to be confirmed. Weekends love to be confirmed. It's all part of the game. Oh, this is another little anomaly I found that I find annoying is that after I jump, sometimes I lose the mapping for my controller uh, for spells, which is also annoying to me. Ah. Yeah, I was trying to cheese that. Anyway, so he's up there for sure. There he is. We'll go back to the cave and I'll show you some of the other ones. So let's save and return to the cave. Continue. Please do make use of these optional comment spaces. Oh, and by the way, if it wasn't clear already, you can also change your star rating. So this is where you can change your stars. Helpful to us to get that. So not everything looks like a five star to us. So once we get back to the cavern, we can go over here and go to a kill all enemies. So of course we go into a kill all enemies uh, map. All of the enemies in this case will be highlighted in red. Uh, and that would be because in order to pass the level or in order to clear the level, that would be your objective. So you're always going to get that clue as to what's my, what's, what do I need to do to finish the level or what do I need to do to pass the level here? I'll go here for 25 gold and just to give it real quick. And oftentimes this will be very helpful in levels that have like invisible enemies. So for example, if you watched the launch day stream, I was getting hit with uh, invisible ghouls, which I didn't even realize had gotten into the latest build. And it's easy to see them when uh, you can highlight them like this because it's almost like, a, obviously, it's like an enemy radar. So now you can see that this is all of the enemies that I have to go and kill, which makes this more of like, a, it's just like a monster hut, right? Obviously. So you can just keep doing, doing that. And we'll come down here and see a guy. What do I have for a weapon? Why well, have like a machine gun or something? That's kind of fun. Let's see where he is. We'll go blast him. That's always fun to go. Spam this guy with some machine gun fire. You're dead. Boom. So we got the ghoul. There you go. So that's the uh, way that those work. And then, of course, the three Eidolon one would work the same way, except that when you go to that map type, you would have the three red circles, which are the Eidolons as well as the anomaly. So we'll hop into one of those. If we can get to one real quick. And then hopefully that will help you guys get a clue uh, of how to play at least the base loop of the game. Obviously, uh, hey, <laughs> bad on us. We've been playing the game so much. We kind of like, oh, yeah, everyone knows how to do this. Well, of course, I mean, it's all, a little secret knowledge there. Um, 
it is part of the lore that we'll be trying to improve on. Let's see, is there one here? And yes, uh, also Zoom on this map. We've heard you loud and clear. I've been talking about it for a long time also. Unfortunately, it's not as easy to implement with the way Toby's done the map system as I'd like as we as we would like. It's gonna be a pretty significant engineering feat. So unfortunately for right now, that's probably not gonna be at the top list, although it is definitely on the hey, I would really like to have that happen list. Well, there was that one defeat three idolons that was out of reach. Of course. Uh, so you're just gonna have to trust me, maybe, because there's not one that close. It looks like. Is there one here? Nay, maybe. This is what happens when you, oh look, I think I saw one there for a second. Find a defeat, conquer three Eidolons. We'll go there for 50 gold. All right, so here we go. Good that I had gold on hand. Uh, if you're wondering why I didn't just cheat, it's because on this machine I'm using the uh, shipping build so that whenever I, do, whenever I do these videos, I'm using the exact same build that you guys are using. So here we go, and you pull back from this, and there they are. Boom, boom, boom. So in this case, you'll need to uh, uh, just take them on. So this is more of like a, uh, yeah, I mean, it's like a big time like boss challenge fight. So instead of having to lure them out, they are already out, uh, and your and your bar at the top is broken into three segments. And so you'll knock them off one, two, and three. So as you'll fill up, basically to clear any level, you have to fill up the bar at the top. Uh, in one case, you don't have to fill it up in order to defeat it. If you're defeating the Eidolon, it's pulling the Eidolon out. Um, in the defeat all enemies type though, it will be showing you progress towards defeating all the enemies. So there you go. I hope that gives you a little help on what to do in just the basic loop of going into adventures in Dream Cycle. Uh, we've also done, I think you can see, you know, a number of, of tweaks on lighting and visuals already. Toby's actually been working away on that. Um, we've heard you, of course, about all of the full screen fog effects. Uh, also, mouse and keyboard. You can see that I always play with controller. Uh, our bad. I know a lot of you want to play with mouse and keyboard, and we're looking at different ways to solve that control scheme. One of the ones that was suggested, uh, that you know, one of the guys here suggested was using the mouse wheel and E. We're looking at all this stuff. We really appreciate your support. Tell your friends, hopefully continue to uh, keep giving us reports, all the good feedback. Until next time, much appreciated, and we'll see you around the Steam community.